Hi everyone and welcome to Horino Collectibles where today we're going to be taking a look at this awesome piece of machinery right here. So this is the SR4. It's an SRC Sportline gun which like I said in my previous video I believe to have Gen 3 internals uh, basically so you've got the external body which is cheaply made in this case by Dragon which you can go ahead and check out right there. Um, it's also uh, made by Bulldog and a few other companies as well. So wherever you are in the world, you could buy it from you know different uh, companies and they'll have the different just, it's basically just having their own print on that bit of external. So there's lots of features that the regular SRC guns have that this does not. So the majority of this is plastic. The you know term sport line basically means, you know, it's gonna be better for, you know, sporting around in a skirmish. Um, you know, it's lighter, so it's easier to use. It's gonna be easier to uh, maneuver around you know, after a full day of uh, skirmishing. So that's, you know, a cool thing. But obviously it does detract if you are more into the kind of real steel kind of thing um, and mill sim, it might not be for you. But this was just a great way to get my first, you know, cheap AEG basically with fantastic internals. And it does have fantastic SRC internals in terms of the gearbox and everything. And they are fully upgradable with you know all the relevant SRC parts, and that's fantastic. So just real quick, the box that it comes in. Let's see which way is it. There we go. You know, it's your standard SRC box. Now this is you know slightly modified. The externals of this gun is not how it's going to look, and I'll show you what it does actually come with stock in just a second. So here we have a uh, hundred. Uh, 0.2 gram BBs, which are actually uh, pretty decent BBs, so I would actually recommend using these. Um, it comes with uh, this stock mag right here, which is plastic, and it's not a wind-up, it is a low to mid cap. It's supposed to hold about 50. I have loaded up to 90 in this before. It's just what the manufacturers say that it can hold, but it can hold more. I wouldn't recommend trying to push it to those kind of limits, but if the spring can go down more, then you can hold more. Here we have a uh, high cap, it's a 250. Again, I've loaded up to 300 in it, so you know, it's just what the manufacturer uh, likes to sell it as. But basically, yeah, so this is a full metal wind up 250. There's a bit of a size comparison of that. It's just a tiny little bit smaller, but they are sold by Bulldog, so you know, they are sold as part of this gun if you're in the UK. Uh, this is the stock stock that it would come with. But I went ahead and purchased a, uh, a Magpul stock instead. And it's the uh, the second version that has the little clip on the front here so that it can kind of hold it in place a bit better. But it is a six point adjustable stock right here. So that's the kind of range that you're getting and it can stop in six places. Uh, basically then you just push this front down, locks it in place. It's got the rubber book plate right there. It's absolutely fantastic. It would have the standard kind of, you know, carry handle AR style uh, sights on the top there, but I went ahead and just replaced them with this real simple red dot sight for turning it on. Basically, I'm not, I don't have any idea. Oh, there you go. You, you kind of saw it for a second there. There you go. You can see the red dot right inside there. And if I move it the other way, uh, it's green. Simple as, and then it's got a couple of iron sights right there on the top as well. Uh, basically, it's a British style sight. Uh, and I just think it looks absolutely fantastic on M4s and they, they are used with some M4, well, some AR platforms, should I say. So moving to the front of the rifle, we have the Magpul handguard right here. Again, it's not stock. So this is the kind of thing that would have come on it just in two halves. I did have to kind of modify this because it was meant for a gun that has the star on the uh, D-ring. This doesn't have that. So I had to get a Dremel and heavily modify it both ends to get it to fit, but I got it to fit. And then I've got this uh, foldable foregrip right there and also just put some rails uh, right there just makes it look pretty cool I think so uh, you know this site right here you cannot take that off it is all molded you cannot do anything with this barrel it is completely molded solid that is one major downside to this that you can't take the site off with pins because then you could put epic you know floating barrel kind of things on there but unfortunately uh, on this sport line, it is molded all as one, but it does mean that it's a lot cheaper 
so it, it does affect the price quite a lot which is uh, you know a really really major side to this thing so that's fantastic uh, the mags right here uh, like i showed you you know those were the standard ones so these here are the magpul p mags which are just absolutely fantastic if i go ahead and move this right here so basically they came in this uh, awesome box so i got five of them so we get 75 round uh, p mags that i just think look absolutely fantastic and they really make the gun pop and they really really do suit the rest of this gun right here as you can see it's so light with it being a sport line that i can just kind of throw it around so just a quick look at the uh, firing features basically over on this side we have safe semi and full auto and uh, it works absolutely fantastically the selector switch is nice and solid at each position it does have the uh, assist right there that does move in but obviously it doesn't do anything you do have the cocking handle which does allow you to get to the hop up but unlike most ar platforms it does not open this little door right here you have to actually manually hold that down and then you have to go ahead pull this then you can get inside there to use the hop up that's not all that great of a system they've you know saved money right there by just not putting this on a catch which i think is just ridiculous uh, so that's the one thing i really kind of hate about it but you know you can still access that hop up you're not going to need it you know that often so i'm fine about it really so that's pretty much all for me to talk about this thing pretty standard off platform you know it's the most common style uh, rifle you will find in airsoft so let's go ahead and take a look at how it fires and see what the FPS of this thing is. Okay, so this is at about 40 feet. There's uh, 20 slabs between me and the targets and each slab is two feet uh, long. So pretty easy to figure that one out. So first off, semi-auto. Now let's go some full auto. And now let's find out how hot this thing is firing. So these are 0.26 millimeter BBs. 356. and 354. So as we saw there, very, very nice. The accuracy of this thing out of the box, just using like the iron plastic sights was okay. I just sighted this in just a li literally for like five or 10 minutes just before that video. Uh, and it was pretty windy down the side of the house too. Uh, and it performed really, really well. I know that that's not a super long distance, but it, it did really, really good. Human sized targets are a lot bigger than cans. So you're gonna have even better results. Uh, also, um, you know, the FPS, as you can see, the average there was ranging in the 50s. Uh, that's fantastic. That is about the max limit of, uh, you know, most UK skirmish sites. So absolutely fantastic. As long as you put a good battery in this, it will take lipos. It's got really good SRC internals. So you're going to be able to keep up with the best of the best. So, you know, you've really, really got some good cheap hardware that if you go ahead and upgrade like I have to suit you and to make you love it even more, then honestly, it's an absolutely fantastic buy and a must have for a first time skirmisher. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the SR4, an absolutely fantastic rifle. If you wanna check out more pictures, go ahead and check out my Instagram, Tomarino123, and the link is in the description below where you'll be able to check out stuff of, you know, everything else that I make videos of in my collection. And uh, I hope you go ahead and check that out and like it too. There's a link in the description below to a video that I just did that'll show you other kind of weapons that I have that I can go ahead and review for you soon. So go ahead and take a look at that and let me know what you want to see first. And to see more airsoft videos, go ahead and subscribe. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.